So I'm done making the chicken strips for my grandkids, Jackson and Ember. I'm so looking forward to them coming over and I definitely hope they like them. Hey, hi, well, thanks for joining me in Amy Roloff's little kitchen. Um, it's for me, it's a pretty exciting day because both my grandkids, Ember and Jackson, are coming over and they're gonna spend the night. So I hope that um, we do not have any late night calls to their parents, but anyway, so it's gonna be a fun, fun time. I'm so, so looking forward to it. Lots of grandma time. I don't get that a much. I don't get that much, as much as I would like. And so I'm pretty excited for this, so. What I'm cooking, what I'm gonna make for them for dinner because this is kid friendly. But I also made this when my dad visited, I can't even believe it's been a month ago, when my dad visited and all my kids were here, Molly came down, Molly and Joel came down from Spokane and uh, Jacob and Isabel came up from Ben and my two boys. So we had a really great time with, um, you know, just my dad and family and getting them reconnected, him meeting two of his great grandkids for the first time. So anyway, I made this that I'm gonna tell you in a minute, um, back then, you know, when he visited. So I'm gonna make it again when J uh, Jackson and Ember are here. So what it is, is I'm making chicken strips, homemade chicken strips. It's a little bit time consuming, but I tell you, it is so, so good. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna make chicken strips and macaroni and cheese. So what kid doesn't like that? I hope they do. Anyway, they're gonna be excited, I hope, to be here. I'm just really gonna have a fun time with them. So let's get going in Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Or I should say, let's get cooking in Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. So what I did, I took a boneless chicken breast and I just cut them into strips or very large chunks and then I'm doing kind of like this flour, egg, and breadcrumb mixture. And we dip the chicken in the flour. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but we dip the chicken in the flour so the egg has something to adhere to. Because when you cut up boneless chicken breast, it's kind of slippery. And so the egg would just kind of drain off the chicken. This way, when you dip the chicken into the flour, the egg has something to adhere to. And then after the egg mixture, we dip it into the breadcrumbs, and then I kind of fry them up or saute them. No, I should really say fry. I kind of fry them up in a deep saute pan uh, with canola cooking oil. I like canola. Um, you could use other oils if you want, uh, but I just like canola oil when I do something like this. And when it comes to the breadcrumbs, um, you can use panko crumbs. That'll give you a little bit of crispiness and crunch to it. But I also have found that, man, it really soaks up the oil. So I just have maybe a couple of tablespoons of panko crumbs in here, but a lot of it is just the regular breadcrumbs. You can make your own breadcrumbs too. You just kind of dry up your favorite Italian, French bread, and then just use your food processor. Since I'm having kids here, I'm not gonna season the breadcrumbs a lot, but you could add thyme to it. You could add smoked paprika to it, or any kind of uh, cayenne pepper if you kind of wanted the hot chicken uh, strips. So whatever you really want. But since it's my grandkids coming over, I'm just gonna use a little bit of salt, because that'll definitely add some flavor. I've got a lot of breadcrumbs here, so I'm gonna say almost like a tablespoon of salt. Just a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon, because you don't want it too garlic. I'm just gonna use a fork, kind of mix that all in there. Make sure the panko breadcrumbs are hopefully evenly distributed through the regular breadcrumbs. 
I just use plain bed crumbs because I like the versatility. If I wanted it more like uh, Italian bread crumbs, which you can buy at your grocery store, I add my own thyme or Italian seasonings and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get going. I'm gonna put a bunch of these chicken strips in here. And what I really do with this too, I flour, egg, breadcrumb mixture, a lot of them and put them on this plate. So that way I'm not frying a little bit, doing this process, frying again. So I try and get all of this done. And then all I have to do is fry it at the same time. So see, I just mix, you know, just getting some flour, flour on the chicken. And then I'll put some in here. Just kind of, I use a fork or you can use a, a tong too. Cause man, your fingers get so coated with breadcrumbs. Then I'll just dip them into the breadcrumbs. I hope you saw that, see? Then you just dip them in the breadcrumbs. And I'll use a spoon for that. Just kind of flip it over. Kind of pat it down a little bit so you really have the breadcrumbs stick. Like I said, if I don't do this, if I don't use a spoon or something, then my fingers are so caked with uh, breadcrumbs. But I mean, you know, kids love this. Adults love this. Chicken strips, a great, um, you know, appetizer thing too. And just be creative in your dips or your sauces that people can dip them in. So we're gonna do this again. I dipped them in the flour. I got them in the egg mixture. Flip them over so every part of the chicken gets a coating. Put it in the breadcrumbs. We're kind of gonna try and be like Henry Ford. He created the assembly line. Oops, my fork got in there. He created the assembly line for building cars. So what we're building? We're building chicken strips. Okay, I've got a lot more to do. So I'm just gonna kinda Line this plate up with breaded chicken strips. So I'm just gonna continue to do this. And you really wanna make sure the whole chicken has a little bit of flour on because if not, then you're, you're not gonna really have all, in, the whole chicken piece entirely coated. I mean, and that's not a problem, but that's why we call them chicken strips. We want everything coated. So here we go. Egg mixture. Anyway, I am so excited. Both my grandkids are three years old. So I think Ember is used to spending the night at Audrey's parents' place. I think they call them Papa and Grandma. I'm not sure what her parents are called, you know, for grandparents. And so anyway, they're three years old. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have, make this for them for dinner, chicken strips and mac and cheese. And I thought it would be really fun because you know, I like being in the kitchen if they help me make cupcakes. So if I can swing it, I'll show you a little, um, I'll show you a little video of that, of us making cupcakes, or maybe at least them decorating it. I think that would be kind of fun. Okay. And you know what? Frying does not take very long. 
I mean, I have it at a high temperature, but I don't have it so high that I've got grease flying all over the place. And ooh, that's not good. It just creates a mess, but also it can burn you. No fun having hot oil on you. I would have started this earlier, but I tell you, it happens to me every so often, but I was slicing up the onion for the mac and cheese and I kind of cut my finger. So I had to wait a little bit before I started on all this. Anyway, okay, I'll continue on doing this and I'll be back. Okay, so I just have one more to do. It went into the flour, went into the egg wash. Now we're putting it in the breadcrumbs. And I think I'm gonna have plenty of chickens for my grandkids, plenty of chicken strips. So I have a whole plate. So let's get frying. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying it. And I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to it. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell up there and you'll be notified of future videos that are new and coming on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. And I would really appreciate it if you shared the video and let other people know and encourage them to subscribe and like the videos as well. So anyway, thank you and back to the video. So I have a, a pan here that's kind of a deep saute pan and it's got some oil in it. I don't like it you know, really deep because, I don't know, to me it makes the chicken strips a little too greasy, but you definitely want like maybe a half an inch, quarter of an inch, but definitely plenty of oil in here for you to cook the chicken. So, like I said, we're having chicken strips for my grandkids. Went into the flour, the egg, the breadcrumbs, and now we're getting ready to fry it. And I did two packages of, so this was four breasts of chicken. Put that, boy, I think I almost have too much oil in here. Here I said not enough, or, oh dear. I think it'll be okay. I would have liked a little less oil in here. You wanna make sure they've got plenty of room to cook, so don't overcrowd them too much. And like I said, it only takes a few minutes. Oh, you know what? I've got to get another plate for them. There's my other plate. So I'll just place them on here. And this is really a hands-on thing because you don't want them to overbrown. Oh, those are nice. And if you think they're browning too quick, just turn down the heat a little bit because you don't want them to cook on the outside and not cook the chicken all the way through. Oh yeah, these are nice. Ooh, I hope they like them. You hear the sizzle? Watch. Yeah, they're going nice. Almost done. First round is almost done. Definitely this little piece. Maybe this one. No, a little bit more. And if there's any doubt, because there's so many of them that are here, just cut the biggest one in half. Just to make sure you've got at least the thickest uh, piece of chicken cooked all the way through. So yeah, I should have put a um, piece of paper towel 
Okay, first batch, done. I'm gonna put a piece of paper towel over it, just so if there's any really excess oil, the next layer will um, soak that up. Here we go, we're gonna put some more in. Now obviously, the smaller the piece of chicken, the less time it will cook. So try and do your best, which I didn't really do here. Try and do your best to put the biggest ones to cook all together and the smallest ones cook them all together. Like I said, these are good as appetizers too. Just really have a creative dipping sauce, especially when you're having an adult party. I like a mustard white wine dipping sauce or something a little spicier like a, um, what is it, queso? You know, that cheesy, spicy dip. I think that's really good. Or you can even have, um, if you're having a bunch of ladies over, you know, your women friends, um, I do make it, again, with a, I like the honey mustard white wine sauce or Dijon white wine sauce, or even like a dill and uh, cream cheese, no, not cream cheese, dill and like a sour cream or um, like a soft cheese dip. Anyway, if you look, follow me, go to my YouTube channel or Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, and you can find this recipe on there, and I'll have some dip recipes. Ooh, dear. Definitely going to turn this down just a tad. Cooking a little faster than I thought. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn it down my heat just a little bit because they're definitely browning, but I wouldn't want them quite this brown, so. So I turned my heat down just a little bit. Like I said, this does not take very long. It is amazing in hot oil how fast these cook. Okay. I think I've got this will be my third one. I think I may have one more to do. Okay. So I'll let you know when these are all done. So I'm done making the chicken strips for my grandkids, Jackson and Ember. I'm so looking forward to them coming over and I definitely hope they like them. But like I mentioned, you can, make this as an appetizer, a meal, a nice salad. I'm gonna go ahead and make macaroni and cheese for them, because what kid doesn't like macaroni and cheese? But you can also add a variety of dipping sauces too. And because I have you know, my grandkids coming over, I'm just doing a little ketchup with just a little barbecue sauce in it. And then of course, ranch. So I'm hoping they'll like it. So it's chicken strips for dinner tonight in Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. You can find this recipe and all the others at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen or go to my YouTube channel and you'll get the recipe and the video. So thank you.